Welcome back to another adventure. We're, uh, well, I'm out at uh, the Keystone Mine today. Uh, there's supposed to be a couple adits and a, I think a quarry at the top or something. But uh, we'll see what I can find. I just saw some uh, wood uh, planks or whatever down in the ravine on the way up here. So um, I'm uh, headed up a little trail here. It heads that way. There's another one right next to me that kind of heads down. Might head into the, uh, the lower to the lower at it, and I think this one might lead to the upper at it. So uh, I will uh, check back in when I find something. All right. It says uh, I should be getting close to an at it, and that looked like a, a worked timber there. And uh, I'm just kind of making my way up. One, two, it seems like a oh, road. I guess that's where it uh, oh, looped around then. Huh? We have to go up through the woods, but there we go. Looks like my hat, it might be right back there. It said, uh, there's a, a shot of the mountain there. I think there's a big quarry right up there. Uh, and they just took out the top of the mountain. Looking like, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a cable. There was a... There was a tramway that led all the way from another uh, quarry up north. Uh, that's not good. I do see an adit here. But I also see... Daylight through it. More cable. Oh, yeah. Oh. Oh, there's a bunch of cable up there. Cable down here. And it looked like uh, some kind of structure right over here. I'm going to go check out that attic here in a second, but... Uh, yeah, there was definitely some kind of little shack right here. Got some metal there. But uh, it's pretty well gone. Head back down over here to the added. I think uh, I don't know what they what they did with this, but uh, you can see it see through there. So uh, I think, kind of cool, all the old uh, timbers and everything. I'll uh, climb down through here. Some more cables on the ground. Oh yeah, there's a lot of, I wonder if this was uh, the loading, this must have been the loading station uh, for the uh, tram. Uh, like I said, there was a there's a tramway on the map that heads straight that way from uh, here, so this must have been the uh, beginning of it. You can see most of the timbers are still in here. Uh, got some big metal there, probably the anchor there for the tram. Looks like there is a. Uh, a way to get through to the main adit here. And uh, this time my boot, boots aren't too far away in the car. Not sure what the... It almost looks like it's smoking out of there. Hmm. Don't smell bad or nothing. Hmm. I wonder if it's just the smoke in the air getting sucked out, of, sucked in and then through. Uh, that looks like a old washer or something. But uh, there's a big heavy plate right here. The old timbers. I was looking back through there. Where it came out and it's all uh, 
cut out here. And there we go. Man, that's a big plate too there. I wonder if they had that over the top of it and it all fell in here. Looks like I can get in there. I'm going to uh, throw a helmet on and uh, grab my flashlight out and I'll see what I can see in there. And I was getting ready to hop in there and I looked up the hill and I can see it right by that bush there. There's a big, huge piece of track. I don't know if they were actually using it as track or... Yeah, there's some, oh, there's a stick, some big heavy plates all hanging here, so I don't know how long, much longer that's going to be kosher, but yeah, it looks good. I'm going to sneak through here real quick. There we go. Even the, the cables are anchored all the way into here, so... I assume that's probably why, because it was a uh, um, tram station heading out of here. Yeah, that, pull, that's a big, probably half inch thick steel plate there. All of that stuff's really heavy steel, but uh, looks like the original tunnel used to come right through there. Yeah, you got a little bit of. Uh, conduit metal conduit there and a little bit of collapse right here not looking too horrible though if I can uh, scramble my way through here oh yeah oh yeah uh, nothing with a little pocket there looks like it might have started falling so they shored it up maybe Got a bunch of this there. Oh, yeah. Oh. That. I'm going to have to get some pictures of that. That's a big uh, ore chute here. I don't know what that beam there was with those brackets on it. Bunch of little bracketry there. Oh, it might have been, uh, might have been to sort the bigger rock off of there, like a grizzly. And then they made it swing so they could jump them. But, uh, just a little dug out there, but, uh, yeah, this thing's got, like, full-size track bent as, uh, oh, okay, bent as, uh, a chute door, basically. But uh, they had a lot coming through here. That's an air cylinder that operated it, that lifted it. And uh, that bar there would have been sideways or whatever through those loops or attached to those loops. They'll lift that whole thing up. And they must have had some big, uh, big ore carts or maybe even the tram cars came all the way in here. I don't know. But uh, I don't know how soggy it's going to be in here an old drill bit with a piece of rail leaned on it i did notice you know back here there was uh three drill bits driven in there probably have a board set across them or whatever but uh let's see if i can oh yeah hmm. Fisher or whatever, they peeled that all out of there. That goes way the hell up there, too. Huh. Wonder how they managed that. It goes up this side, but there's a uh, like a wooden block set driven in there. I like how all their wedges are beveled on the back end of them. A lot of good pictures in here to take pipe. I hear, hear something back there. I think it's a 
beer can or something floating around. But uh, it's getting kind of wet, but I should be able to get through here. Got some uh, stakes in the ceiling for the utilities. Uh, looks like somebody uh, left their trash in here. That was nice of them. So this is a fairly fairly accessible place. So. Noises going on behind me made me wonder if that ore chute's coming down. That's kind of cool. The crisscross of the the vein structure right there. But uh, there's some kind of metal. There's a tray or something. I don't know how long I'll. Uh, there's a piece of the ladder be able to explore this one because uh, I didn't recharge my battery. Oh, yeah. This looks like uh, water more so than air and it's a big uh, big airline if it's in it, if it is air. There's a bunch of rail. Oh, what is that? A big long drill bit. That looks like something. Scaling bar, maybe. It's like hex shaped with a square on the end. It's looking up a, a raise. Looks like they had tracks and skip car going up it. It's pretty cool. Uh, some more metal on the ground. Looks like some rubber air hose. Connecting the drills. A bit of plate. Another big, huge ore chute. And some ladder. There was probably a man way up into this. This is, uh, looks like another grizzly here. Oh, they got an air door or something there. <clears throat> But yeah, that was probably to get the bigger chunks of rock off and got a little pocket right there. And electrical boxes and stuff. But there's that uh, just huge ore chute. They're pretty cool. You have to get some... Uh, Get creative on getting the pictures of that because it's so big. And that looks like oh, some kind of <laughs> some. Oh, okay, I thought that was a wrench handle or something welded to it, but what that was? Oh. Must, might, it might have been some kind of windlass. Uh, hmm. Oh, they had uh, a little airline heading up there. Maybe a spray bar even. I don't know. Comes up from there. It's getting kind of soggy back here, so... Uh, Must have been dynamite storage. It's got a flat bottom to it or something. Maybe they were uh, trying to save up water there to pump. But uh, that's the end of it here. I don't know what this big, big uh, foundation is here for. Oh. Yeah, I better get 
I'm gonna put this away for a second and splash my way back. I got this kind of interesting. There's a, a bulb socket in there. Like this is just one heavy duty. Uh, <laughs> one heavy duty light fixture. Uh, there's some more airline there. Got a quick disconnect or something there for the for the uh, air drill and all that. Kind of little looks like it might be might be a folding leg or something. A couple of those here. And uh, yeah, kind of cool. Oh, they got a, a piece of track in there. Oh, that's what's holding the ore back. Kinda. Huh. Yep. All right, well, I'm gonna get some pictures of this and uh, there's another drill bit there. And I will uh, check back in when I find some more. So I was looking at this again. This is uh, the bottom of that raise or incline or whatever it is. And uh, oh, there's some rope. Somebody tried climbing up that shit. That's kind of. Huh. Uh, anyway, there. Uh, it looks like this is actually a drill bit because that's the bit end or the the chuck end that would fit into the drill. And it's all hexagonal and it comes loops down into here that's got to be the longest drill bit i have ever seen in a mine but uh yeah i don't know uh if there's an upper at it there's got to be uh i can't really see up there all the way but i uh yeah i figured i'd get a video of that real quick and I'm just kind of making my way back out that way to the entrance to uh, uh, see if I can find the other at it too. All right, so that's the uh, hole that I was just down in. That's the entrance there, and then the adit's directly below me. And uh, I figured I'd come up here and see if I found an opening to either of those stopes where the door shoots were. And uh, I found a, a bunch of metal and wood and all that. There's kind of a weird canyon cut in right above there. I think that... Uh, may have had something to do with the uh, tram line coming down here and uh, dumping in it into this one. Maybe that's why it's open. But uh, there's a bunch of uh, a bunch more timbers here, and like I said, some metal. And uh, I'm gonna head up over oh, this way if I can. A little more metal. Uh, some rubber. I saw that down in the mine, like they were using it to uh, direct stuff or something. Big old thick rubber mat. But uh, I mean, probably conveyor belt or something. But uh, yeah, there's a bunch. I think all these timbers might have come from the top. Uh, because I don't see any landing up there big enough to have anything, so uh, I'm gonna have a little more look around and then uh, see if I can't find the, the lower at it. It should be down this way. Uh, I'll check back in when I find something. All right, so I'm just downhill from that last at it. You can see up the hill there's some major 
major workings, but I think a lot of that up there is just open, uh, open pit from the top. Uh, I never did find any uh, adits to those stopes. I don't know if they went all the way up or, uh, but this is uh, basically right across, right in line on the tram line of uh, where the adit is. And there's all kinds of uh, steel like it was all I-beams torched off. Uh, so I don't know if this was a tram tower or a loading station or a something, but uh, oh yeah. Uh, so here's some parts of it. A little more over here. Big foundation here, so I wonder if they might have had a mill. Uh, there's some kind of break mechanism or dumping or something a, a wheel pulley down there and it looks like there used to be steps down into this little section this is kind of in line with that tower pieces there's a bunch more here that they just cut off uh, probably a hoist right here i would assume out over this way there's another uh, foundation or something right here big pier big uh, concrete block doesn't appear yeah, it looks like it might be backfilled not open but uh, Piers around it. Lots of ends metal and stuff. Uh, like, no. So this is kind of looks like there's a, a little uh, cutout spot there along the way. I don't know if that's in line with it or not, but uh, I saw some more stuff up over this way. And, uh, one of them looked pretty interesting. Uh, it's kind of a uh, pile of waste rock there right before that metal metal stuff. Right up this way though. Looks like there was another foundation up here. Yeah. Yeah, another foundation here. Uh, looks like they had some machinery. Well, looks like it was probably a water pump. Uh, there's that, and then that was probably to prime it, maybe. Um, what this uh, this was here. Electrical, but uh, I can't quite see it from that angle. But... Yeah, it definitely looks electrical. Let me try to solve in the middle of this. Another couple, uh, oh, that must have been like an, a diesel drum or something. Heating oil or to run generators or whatever. Can there. Some square bolts there. The silk plates are still down. But, uh, yeah, I thought that was pretty interesting. I'm gonna uh, make my way out of here. I think it drops off over here. Another uh, little post or something there. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna head back down and see if I can't find the uh, lower at it. Well, you guys want to hit up with that. All right, so I stopped in to uh, check out the boards that I'd seen on my way in. And it kind of is looking like this is where the added is, too. 
And then hopefully it goes off to the side of it. And it's over here. Lots and lots of wood here. And I'm not feeling any cold air. That's not good. flashlight out and see if that goes anywhere. Alright, so this was, uh, I looked in that little bear hole and uh, instantly, like, oh, 10 or 15 feet in, there's a air door getting hung up with my backpack. Yeah, so it only goes to there, it looks like. Don't look like there's uh oh there's a bat up there. I don't bother him too much, but uh yeah, a little air door. I don't know what that was all about, but whether it used to go up or down or but uh I'll see if I can't I don't think this is the edit that's supposed to be here, so I'll uh, let you know if I find one. Okay, I'm, uh, I don't know, I'm not really sure if this is what they're trying to call an adit or not. It's a uh, pretty good ledge up here, like, uh, I don't know, probably five feet or so. Uh, this little canyon, but uh, it's all kind of natural looking. It doesn't look like um, it was mined out of here necessarily, uh, but it uh, doesn't go that far either. That uh, and this kind of goes up through there, so I don't know if they mind this or this is just a a natural little thing in the rocks, but uh, uh kind of cool nonetheless, kind of full of bees and uh, flies and stuff, but uh, yeah, kind of a cool little pocket. Alright, so I came across uh, way up there at the top there. It almost looks like there's an added underneath. Well, maybe not. I'll have to scramble up that way and check it out. But uh, yeah, so I was up at the, the top over there and uh, found this. It's kind of cool. Looks like you can see a drill hole there in the in the uh, ceiling maybe but uh i'm not sure why it's uh so open man pretty good size stoping going on here there's a entrance there entrance there a uh, little main chamber there with another entrance i'm gonna head over this way though and uh there's a hole there. There's some little blast holes there. But uh, I think that one just comes around to this. I figured I'd check this out. Uh, wow. This thing is just opened all up. Yeah, so this is the... Uh, the other side of that bottom entrance there, I came up that one. And, uh, let's see if that one goes anywhere. This, uh, this rock doesn't really seem like it's anything special. I don't know why they uh, opened it up as much as they did here. A little bit of green in there. Red on that side. Whew. It must have been uh, after something in here. Huh. Yeah, it ends this way. It keeps going this way. Oh, there's 
there's a, that thin gray stripe. There's a little pyrite shining back at me. Um, I wonder if this is gonna be Slippery, I think it is. Uh, oh yeah, it goes to outside up there. I don't think I need to crawl through that. Big boulders and stuff. It's a, I'm a slippery little ride getting back down too, so uh, I'll uh, catch you at the bottom here. So I just came back down from up there. I was up uh, right about where the bend is there. And back out here to the main chamber. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if this was actually part of the uh, Keystone Mine or not. It's in the same area, but uh, there's the uh, stope that I think that kind of led up and around to there. And then it looks like there's an opening to the left there. And. Uh, I'm going to head down this way. That was a big chamber there. But, uh, and there was another little, little offshoot right here. It came out from the side I came in. And, uh, looks like that's it. Just from basically here over, they, uh, did some major removal. It's like, uh, I don't know if it's a little bird nest or what right there, but kind of cool. And uh, after looking at it, I don't think there is an added over there. Uh, that's the ridge I came in on right up the top there. And I kind of just followed it down that way. But, uh, yeah, I think I got pretty excited about this one at first, but, uh, Looks like they just found what they needed and took it out. There might be another. Oh, that might be the little pocket there right in here. Uh, it's probably where that top one there goes to. But uh, I don't see any reason to look around here anymore. And uh, I think that might be it. So, yeah, I was... Uh, Walking along a little road actually and ran across this and uh, looks like it used to be a pretty substantial uh, spool. That's my hat there. It's almost as thick as my head's wide. Uh, and so I think, it looks like that's the other side of it right there. And uh, with how heavy that is, I would... Uh, pretty much guess that that's the uh, cable uh, for the tramway what it came on uh, I'm just kind of looping my way back around looks like the car is coming up uh, I just kind of made a big loop around and saw what I could see and uh, till next time uh, thanks for watching